Hi guys, I'm Mikal from Prague ICU, and today I will show you how to perform pneumothorax drainage in a triangle of safety using a small bore 8 French pneumothorax kit. Our patient was reported to have a large iatrogenic pneumothorax on x ray as a complication of a CRT insertion. With the arm abducted, the apex of the area of interest is the axilla, and the triangle of safety is formed by the lateral border of pectoralis major anteriorly, lateral border of the latissimus dorsi posteriorly, and inferiorly by a horizontal line from the nipple, commonly the fifth intercostal space. Be cautious, as the nipple line may be an unreliable landmark in female patients due to breast tissue. On the sterile trolley, we have a local disinfection, chlorhexidine, sterile drape and gauze, a syringe with a needle for local anesthetic, scalpel and a small size 8 French catheter. Catheter has a sharp metal stylet inside. Then a three-way stopcock that is attached to the end of the catheter. Connecting tubing with another connector that is attached to the suction system. Finally, we'll also need a suture kit. First, Apply the aseptic skin prep widely around the insertion site. Start from the center and move out. Never come back to the center. Again, count the rib numbers and find the correct intercostal space. Never go lower than fifth intercostal space as there is an increased risk of diaphragm or abdominal organ puncture. Then drape the intended area. Anesthetize the skin, subcutaneous tissue, pleura and periosteum with the local anesthetic, such as lignocaine. We use 10 ml of local anesthetic. Make an incision with the blade to make a nice wide tract that will facilitate the drain insertion. Then proceed with the pleural catheter insertion. We always aim to place the catheter closer to the superior border of the rib as this should avoid injury to the intercostal neurovascular bundle. If a tube is meant to evacuate a pneumothorax, aim it apically towards the top of the lung. Syringe attached to the end of the pleural catheter will inform you once you enter the pleural space. Now you can appreciate aspirating air from the pleural cavity. Then you stop pushing. 
take the sharp stylet out while simultaneously advancing the catheter into the pleural cavity. You can again double check with the syringe that you can easily aspirate the air. Afterwards, you attach the closed freeway stopcock with the connecting tubing and suction system respectively. In our patient, we use metal topaz, digital chest drainage and monitoring system, which provides precise and objective data about the leak in a continuous manner. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the set pressure that you are currently operating with. On the left side, you can see the current air leak value. Finally, secure the chest tube to the skin. The free ends of the sutures are wrapped around the tube and tied multiple times. Once the chest tube has been secured, apply the sterile gauze and dressing around the tube. A chest x-ray must be performed to confirm a correct placement of a tube and regression of pneumothorax. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next educational videos from Praga ICU.